Recently you've heard a lot about the Pimax Crystal Lite here on the channel. The new version of the Pimax Crystal that only cost $699 but is even better than the original Pimax Crystal. So a high-end PC VR for $699. But what is actually the difference to the Quest 3? Is it so much better that if you don't have a VR headset yet, you should go for the Pimax Crystal Lite instead of the Quest 3? Or if you already have the Quest 3, would it be the perfect upgrade to get the Pimax Crystal Lite? All of these questions I'm going to answer in this video. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm glad that you tuned in again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you're excited about a VR, then absolutely subscribe to this channel here because, well, we're giving you unbiased and independent reviews about all these VR headsets and the latest news. So subscribe and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. All right, Quest 3, around $500. Pimax Crystal Lite, $699. But honestly speaking, once you also buy something like a better head strap, you also get into this $650 area, right? So they are not so far apart in terms of price. So what is the main difference? Well, the Quest 3 is a standalone headset. You do not need a gaming PC in order to play VR. Everything that you need is already included in this beautiful package here so that is good but if you have a gaming pc you can also use this as a pc vr headset wirelessly no wires needed very nice the pimax crystal light is a pc vr headset so you do need a high-end gaming pc in order to use it and it comes with a cable that is that is that right so really this is a pc vr headset but in terms of visuals, the Pimax Crystal Lite is simply so much better than the Quest 3 because you have a QLED panel, so you have better colors here. You have a higher resolution here, way higher resolution, 2880 by 2880 per eye. So visuals simply look like yeah, a high glo a glossy magazine. Yeah, it's just so good. So visuals are better here. Also, you have a better um, binocular overlap, the area that both eyes see at the same time. So you have a better 3D image and more immersion. So that is that. That is really the good parts here about the Pimax Crystal Lite. So if you don't have a VR headset yet, which of these would I recommend? Well, in general, the Quest 3 is simply unbeatable still because it gives you so many options. You can play all of the standalone games, right? So you don't need a gaming PC, but if you have a gaming PC, you can still use this wirelessly. So in general, I would say the Quest 3 still reigns supreme, right? And especially if you're new to VR, I would say simply get the Quest 3. It is an amazing headset and I personally love it a lot. Also, if you have a gaming PC and you only want to play Half-Life Alyx, for example, those games, you can wonderfully play them with the Quest 3 as well, and it's wireless. So, how about you already own a Quest 3 or a Quest 2, for example, and th these headsets, they kind of made you want more, right? You play Microsoft Flight Simulator, you play DCS, you play all these sims, you play Elite Dangerous, you, right, you play um, iRacing or whatsoever, and then you feel like, wow, this is great, but could there be an upgrade? Then I would say yes. Then you can look into the Pimax Crystal Lite, because for $699, you get a DisplayPort connection, which means like you natively get the visuals from your computer. They don't have to be compressed, sent over the air, and then decompressed that first of all takes performance from your computer. So you're gonna get more FPS here in the Pimax Crystal Lite, of course, depending on your render target as well. And also you will have better visuals, right? Because the panels are better, be because you have better binocular overlap, right? And the thing is you will have an uncompressed picture. You don't have color bending for dark scenes. It will simply look so much better in the Pimax Crystal. So again, if you are a simmer or if you want simply 
a better visuals, an upgrade for your Quest 3, for PC VR, this could be it, this should be it, because for $699, you will not get a better deal than the Pimax Crystal Lite. Also, you don't need base stations with this here, just like with the Quest 3, so you don't even have to upgrade base stations like you have to for other headsets, like the Bixby Million, for example. So it's a beautiful upgrade to your Quest 3, to your Reverb G2, to your Valve Index, to your HTC Vive Original or Vive Pro, Vive Pro 2. So yeah, it's a big deal. I really think that the Pimax Crystal Lite is a big deal. And if you want high-end PC VR for $699, this is my recommendation. If you have more questions, well, I already answered the question. Should you go for the $699 version or for the $899 version? I made a video about it, check it on the channel, right? And yeah, simply if you want to pre-order this, you should act fast if you want to still get it end of May or probably in the beginning of June. But uh, looking at the pre-order numbers through my affiliate links, I can tell you this is selling like hotcakes. So you should get in line right now if you want to get it as soon as possible. I'm going to get my review unit sometime in May. I'm going to do a review. If I find anything, they would say like, okay, don't get it. I will let you know in time so you can still cancel the pre-order. But if you're interested, in my opinion, go for it. The link down in the description of this video. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And if you have any more questions, why don't you go to the MRTV Discord server? I am there and the great MRTV community is there. So it's fun. The link is down in the description of this video. That's everything I have. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.